Welcome back, guys. I'm recording the last video again because Audacity once again quit on me right after I was done recording, so I have to do it all over again, and my throat hurts so badly, but it's the last video, and gosh darn it, I'll do it. So, let's ask some questions. I've read about you. You were the leader of a witch cult back in Colony America, weren't you? It seems my reputation precedes me. Yes, that was I. Our sacrifice was interrupted by a constable who had infiltrated our group. I was able to escape and make my way back to my homeland of Romania. You're from Romania? Originally, yes. After spending a few centuries regaining the strength by sucking life out of some nearby villagers, I came here. The people of Smilem have been very loyal to me. Well, of all the people to sacrifice, why pick me? An excellent question, but that is a long story and time is precious. So we aren't going to figure it out, unfortunately, but uh, suffice to say that luring you here was easy. All we had to do was make up the story of the murdered children and assign everyone a role. That way, we could make certain that you would be running around investigating while we prepared your sacrifice. And obviously, it worked, beside, uh, despite that small, unforeseen deviation. What deviation? I wasn't anticipating a crowbar to the head! And you were not intended to free Mary. Where is Mary, anyway? Of course, we worked around that, and here you are. Yeah, Mary's not here in this ending. Hmm. I'll have to think about it after we ask about the sacrifice. Why are you having the sacrifice, anyway? Today is the festival of Lamas. We commemorate this occasion with the gift of eternal youth. Hence, we must sacrifice a young virgin and take their youth every twenty years. A young virgin? Well, you made a terrible mistake. I'm not a... We know for a fact that you are. We can tell these things. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> I haven't got any more questions. Then let us commence with the sacrifice. Stop! Yay, it's Mary! Mary! Well, well, if it isn't Sister Blaine, why are you not wearing your robes? Mary, is it true? Are you really a witch? Yes, Ben, I'm afraid so. However, I just didn't anticipate you being so kind to me. I thought you would just think I was the enemy. I... I never thought I would feel this way, but... I love you, Ben. Touching. However, I might remind you that we have a sacrifice to perform. I won't let you harm him, Zorthris. I've had enough of living forever. Very well. If that's the way you feel, I shall alleviate you of your great burden. Aww. Mary! No! Now then, where were we? You find yourself overcome with rage at the idea that Mary truly loved you and that Zorthris so thoughtlessly took her away from you. You struggle angrily and break free from the ropes. Wow. And everyone just kind of lets him go. The sacrifice is escaping! What do we do, master? You fools, you just let him get away! Obviously, if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. I'll handle this. So, once again, we're... Well, you managed to find your way to the entrance of the Dark Forest, but you can't keep running. You need to deal with Zorthrus somehow. So basically, yeah, again, we have to deal with Zorthrus. And first and foremost, we're going to do what's really obvious and pick up this brightly colored stick. You bend down and pick up the stick, feeling an odd sense of deja vu. And if you don't know what it's talking about by the deja vu, you should play Ben Jordan, uh, the first case. Ah, Jordan, there you are. Stay away from me. You killed Mary. Yes, yes, I've seen this before. You loved her. She loved you. It's also terribly tragic. You heartless bastard. All you care about is your sacrifice. Well, I suppose that's true. Of course, being a Strigoi, I don't need the sacrifice. I can survive on my own by draining blood from unsuspecting victims. I just find it much easier to have a loyal following to do all the work for me. Now, enough chatter. Come quietly, or I shall have no choice but to kill you myself. I'd like to see you try. Oh, don't say that, Ben! He'll actually do it! 
And if he does it, it's going to be exactly the same as uh, the time he killed us last time, so I'm not going to do it this time. Instead, let's knock him out with a tranquilizer gun. And I totally missed. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen. I thought I actually... Mm, oh well. Blah, blah, blah. This time we'll actually get you. There we go. You pull out the tranquilizer gun and shoot at Zorthurus. Good shot. Now let's finish him off with a stick. As you haven't gotten an actual stick, you figure the stick will be the next best thing. You take a deep breath and prepare to drive the stick into Zorthurus's heart. You can do it, Ben. Yeah! Nice shot. Jordan, what in the devil are you doing out here? Professor Jones, I just destroyed Zorthrus, the creature that was behind all of this. Is that so? I'm glad I found you. My sources led me, uh, led me to believe that you had been kidnapped and sacrificed by these lunatics. Well, that's what they were planning on doing, but I managed to escape. Where are they now? You must take me to them so I can arrest them. Follow me. They're over on this hill to the west. Oh, wow. My god! I don't believe this! They're all dead! And they've all aged dramatically, too. I guess with Zorthrus gone and no sacrifice, they couldn't go on living. This is by far the most bizarre thing I've ever seen! Well, obviously there's nothing more to do here, so I suppose we can declare this case closed. I'm going to have to ask you to accompany me back to England, however. As you are directly involved with this case, I'll need your input and such for the paperwork. Sounds fine to me. After all this, I could use a break. So, now that you've seen this, does it mean that you're not going to be so close-minded anymore? I'll admit, I've seen some strange happenings on this case, but I wouldn't go so far as to say I believe the paranormal just yet. He is a hardcore skeptic, wow. Don't worry, I'll make a believer out of you yet. And so they become best friends, and Ben went back to London with Percy to fill out the case paperwork. And while he was there, he took some time off and went sightseeing to try and get the pain of losing Mary off, uh, out of his head. Scotland Yard reimbursed him for his services, as he didn't get any money from the case. However, he still wondered why he specifically had been chosen to be the sacrifice of the witch cult. You may want to check out the other path, as it has different puzzles and uh, an alternate ending, but we already did that, so... Thanks for playing! See you next time! And I'm not going to click this time, because I know what happens. Um, but as you can see, we got the complete ending, 144 out of 144 points. Um, what else? I am going to play the fourth game uh, pretty soon, which is uh, Case 4, The Horror at number 50, I believe. And once again, I'll put up a link for the Ben Jordan games in case you want to play them yourself, which I would highly recommend because they're really fun. And, uh, I think that's about all I was going to say. So hopefully this recording will actually save and I won't have to do this again, and I could finally go and make myself a nice, hot cup of tea, and not speak for the rest of the week. See you next time, guys. Goodbye.